Hello students, I am Manoj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the register-based CPU organization and a bus organization for 7 CPU register. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the concept of stack. Let's start our topic. What is meant by stack? Stack is a storage structure that stores information in such a way that the last item stored is the first item retrieved. That means whatever we store at last, we can retrieve it first. Okay. It is based on the principle of last in first out that is LIFO. Okay. That means we can say that in a stack organization, we place items, okay? And whatever item or whatever data we stored at last, we only retrieve this data first. That means whatever we stored last, we can retrieve it first. This is only one end operation because the operation is performed at this end only. At this end, there is no operation performed. Okay. I hope you all understand this concept of last in first out. Okay. For example, let's see if at this position we store 1, at this position we store 2, then 3, then we store 4 and at last we store here 5. If we want to take data back from the stack, or we want to retrieve the data from the stack, then we can retrieve 5 first, then 4, then 3, then 2, then 1. Okay. At the same time or at any time, if the data is stored up to 5, then we cannot retrieve 1 first. We can retrieve 5 first. Okay. This is the last in first out mechanism. I hope you all understand it very well. The stack in digital computer is a group of memory locations with a register that holds the address of the top element. This register that holds the address of the top element of the stack is called as the stack pointer. That means here is a register is used to hold the address of the top element. Here this is the top element and its address is held by this register known as the stack pointer register. That means in other words we can say that the stack pointer is a register which holds the topmost position of the stack. Okay. Now let's see. A stack is an abstract data type or ADT commonly used in most programming languages. It is named as stack as it behaves like real world stack. For example, a deck of cards like this or pile of plates like this. Okay, these are the examples of real world stacks. A real world stack allows operation at one end only. That means we can place a card over on it. Okay, we can place a plate over on it okay for example we can place or remove card or plate from the top of the stack only that means from top only we cannot perform or we cannot remove or place a card or plate at this bottom okay likewise stack abstract data type allows data operation at one end only at any time we can only assess the top element of the stock that means we can only assess this top element of the stack i hope you all understand the operation of stack now let's see the stack representation the following diagram represents the stack and its operation here is the stack and we can see here there are two operation push and pop as the arrow represents here in inward direction that means if we want to store 
data into the stack then we have to done a push operation similarly if we want data back from the stack then we have to do the pop operation that means in other words we can say that to store data into stack we use push operation and to retrieve data back from the stack we use the pop operation i hope you all understand the two operations push and pop let's see the stack operations may involve initializing of the stack using it and deinitializing it apart from these basic stuff a stack is used for the following two primary operations push and pop push means pushing or storing an element on the stack and pop means removing or accessing an element from the stack that means if we want to store element in the stack then we use push operation and if we want to retrieve or remove element from the stack then we use the pop operation i hope you all understand these basic operations let's see more details about push operation and pop operation let's see first one push operation the push operation performs pushes or stores an element into the stack okay then let's see how it works first of all it checks if stack is full okay first of all it checks if stack is full if it is full it produces an overflow error and exit that means it checks for the stack if the status of the stack is full then it produces the overflow flag or it sets the overflow flag and exits if the stack is not full that means stack is empty then increment top point of the next empty space it adds the data element to the stack location where the top is pointing and returns success that means the process is very simple first it checks the status of the stack if stack is flow sorry stack is full then it generates the overflow flag if stack is empty then it increments the position of the stack pointer and the data is stored into the stack similarly we can see the operation of pop the pop operation removes or access or retrieves an element from the stack let's see how it works it is work similarly to the push operation only difference is that during pop operation we retrieve data and during push operation we store data let's see it first checks whether the stack is empty if it is empty it produces underflow error and exits if stack is not empty then accesses the data element at which the top is pointing decreases the value of top by 1 and returns the success similarly as in push operation the pop, pop operation checks whether the stack is empty if the stack is empty then it generates the underflow flag and exits but if stack is not empty then it accesses the data element that means it retrieves the data element from the top and the stack pointer value is decremented by 1 i hope you all understand the basic operation of push and pop let's see more details or more information about push and pop here is the stack and the stack represents only one value then we push 2 into the stack that means we store 2 into the stack then we push 3 into the stack then we push 4 into the stack then we push 5 into the stack then we push 6 into the stack when we are going to retrieve or we are going to delete or removing these elements then we can first remove 6 because it is stored last hence during first pop operation we can remove 6 during second of pop operation we can remove 5 as so on i hope you all know better understand the operation of push and pop now let's see the types of stack there are mainly two types of stack register stack and the memory stack let's see what is the register stack as the name implies the register stack is accessible for registers only okay let's see a register stack is also a memory device 
present in the memory unit but it handles only small amount of data because registers are limited in size the stack depth is always limited in a register stack because the size of the register stack is very small compared to the memory now let's see in 64 word stack this is the 64 word stack 0 to 63 that means 64 word stack the stack pointer contains 6 bit because 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64 okay hence the stack pointer is of 6 bit the 1 bit register full is set to 1 when stack is full that means when the stack is full then this 1 bit register or 1 bit flag is set similarly empty register is 1 when the stack is empty if the stack does not contain any data then this empty flag set to 1 i hope you all understand these basic operations here if the stack is full then this full flag is set to 1 if the stack is empty then empty flag is set to 1 i hope you all understand this operation the data register dr this dr holds the data to be written into or read from the stack and this is the stack pointer register which always shows the top of the stack that means the data to be stored into into the stack during each push push operation that means during storing of the data into the stack the stack pointer is incremented by one similarly during each pop operation that means data retrieved from the stack the stack pointer is always decremented by one i hope you all understand these operations on the register stack similarly let's see what is the memory stack in the memory stack the stack depth is flexible it occupies a large amount of memory data whereas in register stack only finite number of memory words will be stored here is the memory stack in this stack we can in this diagram we can see there are various registers like pc program register address register stack pointer this area for program instructions this area for data this is for stack and these are the memory addresses this is the data registers let's see what are the operations of these registers the total memory unit is divided into the three parts the first memory unit has the program that means this is the first part which has the program the programs are nothing but the instructions the second part is data the second part is data which is operand and the third part is stack this is the stack that means the memory stack is divided into three part first is for program that means for instruction second one is for data that means for operands and third one is for stack the program instructions always store in the program counter register that means the program instructions are stored in the program counter register the data registers are identified by address register this is and the addresses 3000 to 4001 3000 to 4001 used for the stack and the first item or element is stored is 4001 that means when we use program register or the program instructions then we use program counter when we use data or operand part then we use address register and when we use this stack then we use the stack pointer register the data stored into the stack or this memory is held by this data register the first element in the stack which is to be stored at this location 4000 one okay i hope you all understand the stack the operations assigned with the stack that means push operation push pop operation and the types of the stack register stack and the memory stack thank you